And when you walk into the stadium, you walk right by a statue of a man named Jimmy Gherkin, and he is a legacy in East Grand Rapids. We went back to school this week to show you why. Get him out! Oh, I like to do things for them, and I like to do things for Barnes, I, and David, and everybody. Good morning, sports fans. Good Friday, too. Among the blue and gold of pioneer pride in East Grand Rapids are symbols, reminders of a life that changed the community. Let's go get them blue. Our school district uh, will continue to, to pass the legacy on Jimmy Gherkin, not just today, but for years and years to come. Jimmy Gherkin, to many known better by his nickname of Kabuki, has been gone for nearly 20 years, but his spirit is very much still alive in East. The impact that he had on our students, not just our students, but our but our teachers, our, our coaches, our community um, is, is something like like no other. Jimmy was like no other. He never lived on his own, and his parents actually moved closer to the high school because that's where Jimmy wanted to be, and it's where he was all the time. It's funny, whenever I'm introduced to anyone, I'm always introduced as Jimmy's brother, Kabuki's brother. So that's that's also kind of special. From the late 60s to shortly before he died in the early 2000s, if it was happening in East, Jimmy was there. March it down, Jim! March it down! A legend then and still today. From the life-size statue on Jimmy Gherkin Plaza that welcomes fans and opponents alike to East Grand Rapids. Thanks a lot for everything. To the weight room named after him. To a wall in the hallway of the high school, reminding students to befriend, support, be happy, and appreciate. But I'm always sorry that the kids that are here today can't actually experience because there's nothing like, there's nothing like the direct exposure that uh, you would get from him. He had a saying that, uh, you know what, I'd like to be your friend, and he was, he was a friend to everybody. I like to just help everybody out the best I can. And you guys know every February they held Kabuki Week here at East Grand Rapids High School where they talk about Jimmy and what he stood for, love and friendship and acceptance. And when I was getting to know Jimmy through his uh, friends and family this week, I understand that you even spoke at his memorial service. Yeah. I, yeah. He was one of the, I, I came and covered at East Grand Rapids football game mm -hmm. when I first, or basketball game when I first started here. And the first person to greet me was Jimmy. He was like, hey, you're the new guy. Uh, and, and then as soon as 13 came, he was off he, the map. Yep. But he greeted everyone. The friendliest guy. And yeah. I love that they continue with Kabuki yeah. Week because that's a lesson plan, mm -hmm. a great lesson plan for kids of all ages to learn. Absolutely. And so they do it throughout the East Grand Rapids community and the school system, and it's fantastic. And so Kabuki's legacy will continue to live on.